Both YSU and James Madison will have players who are not eligible for the championship due to suspensions. The story has created quite a bit of buzz, and that got us thinking, what's it like to be a big name under a lot of pressure? 27 First News reporter Molly Reed talked with two former big names from the area to see how their actions off the field impacted their careers. When you're in the public eye, everything you do, good or bad, can be broadcasted to the world. The spotlight doesn't discriminate against age, which can lead to tough lessons for young college athletes. I just came across a lot of injuries and the freedom of being at school, um, partying, and just uh, not necessarily being around the wrong crowd, but just... I guess doing the wrong things. Both Will Mahone and Maurice Claret have lived the story of the star athlete. Be that guy who gets autographs and uh, or, or people are asking you to take photos and things of that nature. Uh, it becomes surreal and you don't, you don't often identify with anyone anymore because you're uh, a celebrity in your own space. Claret was dismissed from OSU's national championship team after becoming the center of player benefit scandals. During Mahone's second year playing for Notre Dame, he was arrested for fighting at a party and resisting arrest, leading to suspension from the team. I think just being away from my mom, being away from my support, you know, I got, I got, I lost my track a little bit here and there, and then it led to bad decisions. Claret says most athletes in the spotlight don't realize how big they are until something happens. You just feel like you're one of the guys, you know, and you understand you score touchdowns, you understand the university is big, but you don't understand your personal responsibility. The guys that I see succeed and my friends that are in the league right now, um, they did a good job of it, you know, staying the course. So, you know, hats off to them and everything, but I, it's not for everyone. Claret says you have to start with young athletes and teach them consequences and discipline. You know, if you can get them when they're, you know, five, six, seven, eight, and you can create a different reality or a different environment, and you can show that, you know, football is just a tool or football is just a, a vehicle. He and Mahone now tell their stories to try to teach these lessons. Claret also runs the Red Zone in Youngstown. It offers counseling services and after-school programs for kids. Mahone works in Austintown and is working to go back to school to finish his degree. In Youngstown, Molly Reed, WKBN 27 First News.